Hi friends, good evening. This is Manju here and welcome to SQL Master YouTube channel. So today I am going to uh, teach you about the single row functions and multiple row functions in SQL Oracle. So before moving to video, uh, just if you are not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and like my videos so that it's a great motivational thing for me to make many more videos on particular SQL Oracle. So move to the particular video here. I made some PPT templates you know, to teach you better in better way. Okay, so this is what the single row functions. Here, first we should know what is the function. Functions are created for manipulating the data and returning the value. Functions must be created before calling them, otherwise you will have an following error. So functions are nothing but used to manipulate the data and returning a value. So functions are formally created codes that reside in the database. They can be called easily by typing only their names and parameters. So a function is a bunch of code created for reuse. So he, you can hear, see here the function is here and we provided some input and we are getting output. So there are two types of functions, single row functions and multiple row functions. And Oracle function types, functions divided into broadly in two categories. So single row functions and multiple row functions. For single row functions, one input here and you are getting one in output. For multiple row functions, you are having many inputs and only one output. So here function underscore name, argument one, argument two, it continues like this. So single row functions, the single row functions operate on single rows and return only one result per row. Accept one or more arguments and return one value. Return a value is each row returned. Can be used with alone or nested. So functions can be alone or it can be nested. Nested means function within a function. So the innermost function will execute first and then you come to outermost function. So innermost function output is input for outermost function. A column or an expression can be used as arguments here. The returning data type can be different than the input data types can be used in select, where or order by clauses. You can see here, select function name, argument one, argument two from dual. So here is a diagrammatic representation is here. You can see a single row function works with numeric, date, conversion, general and character functions. So overview of single row functions. Functions are categorized by data types of their input parameters. Character functions accept character values as input and return character or numeric values. Numeric functions accept numeric values as input and return numeric values as output. Date functions operate on values of the date data type. Conversion functions used to convert one data type to another data type. So here general functions these functions take in any data type, but they are mainly used to handle the null values. So here you can see character functions. So character functions take in character data as input and return character or numeric data as output. There are two different types of character functions, case conversion functions and character manipulation functions. So here in first section, we have upper function, lower function and init cat. And here substring, length, concat, in string, uh, trim, replace, lpad, rpad. So first we move to case conversion functions. Here case conversion functions are used to convert characters to upper case or lower case characters. So lower case used to convert any string to lower case, upper case to convert any string to upper case and init cap to convert first letter of the any word to capital 
and remain into lower case. So this is one model example. You go through this table and go through this syntax so that you can understand and you can execute this syntax in your Oracle database. Character manipulation functions. So here is a table is provided here. So substring. So how to uh, substring is works here. So how it is extract the uh, letters and length. Okay, you can see here length of SQL course is returned to 10. The result is output section here. So these are the uh, syntax standard syntaxes, and this is what the function. Okay, this is what standard. You can say some model queries okay after executing these examples you will get the results here so you can go through this table and you can understand in better way so here length gives the length of string concatenation it combines more than one string and in string to uh, get the position of character and trim it re uh, re it removes the uh, empty space before the string or after the stri string so that is used for uh, l trim r trim and replace function used to replace any character for different character l pad r pad okay so these are providing some special symbols to uh, before string or after string so round function numeric functions these are numeric numeric functions here i can explain only one because uh, all four are not usable here so round function it can round up your decimal output data into round figure so you can observe in the table here so it's it, this is what the input output we are getting so if you apply here the round function you get this result so whatever the nearest uh, de decimal data it round up to that so nested functions already I explained this so nested function means uh, function within a function is called nested function so it uh, first execute uh, inner function then comes to outer then comes to outer function so this is what the pattern uh, in nested function it executes so you can see here this query so you can understand properly this one nested functions date and values we can use a uh, date function in Oracle to retrieve the date sys date means uh, current system date and uh, we can also use date function to calculate the experience of the employees who were joined in organization so these are the some model examples here so you can go through these um, details so that you can understand in clear and uh, you can get some clarify clarification here so this is what here the sys date current date okay so we can if you want uh, to retrieve the current date you can use current date if you want to uh, the today's date we can use this date arithmetic operations with dates we can add some dates to the uh, current date so this is what uh, most usable in uh, date functions okay you can absorb the query here so that you can get the idea so we are calculating here the employee experience so sys date minus hire date divided by 365 as alias working period from employees table so we get below data these are the date manip manipulation functions here you can go to first table okay these are the important uh, add months months between round truncate extract next day last day so here add months it will add months to current date months between it will calculate the difference between two dates round it will round to uh, the date truncate extract okay these are some important dates here uh, date queries here you can go through that and uh, you can clearly uh, work on these things so that you will be get more perfect on these date manipulation functions so thank you for watching this video and uh, if you like my video really you like my video and share it so that uh, i can make more videos on this uh, oracle sql so it will be more helpful for you people to 
attempt the interviews so thank you very much uh, have a nice day take care we'll meet in next video till that have a good day bye